Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade and install RAM memory into this HP laptop here. And this is my HP laptop. I've had it for a while. It has four gigabytes of memory in it and I've wanted to upgrade it. Uh, so this is the memory that I chose to go with. And this is powered by PNY. And PNY is a company that I'm familiar with, so that's why I chose to go with this one here. And this is 16 gigabytes. So I'll go through this process step by step. Um, I do have some other videos where I show how you can look up the max capacity of RAM memory on your laptop or computer. Um, and another video where I show you how you can look up how many memory slots uh, your laptop or computer has. So I'll link those videos um, in a playlist at the end of this video along with some other videos about this HP laptop. So if you're interested and you have time, please check that playlist out. Okay, so before you begin, you need to make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment. I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles and make sure that you take all safety precautions. These are the tools we're going to be using. This is a plastic pry tool, um, and then this is a small Phillips head screwdriver. You also need to make sure that your laptop is powered down all the way and turned off, and that you also have it unplugged. And make sure that you don't have anything plugged into any of the different ports on the laptop as well because we're going to be taking uh, the whole bottom cover off so you need to make sure that you don't have anything uh, plugged into any of the different ports on the laptop okay so i'm going to uh, flip this over here and set it down and we'll move on to the next step okay so there are two phillips screws here and then there are screws located underneath uh you know these rubber feet here that keep the laptop uh, you know, elevate it slightly and just protect the bottom of the laptop. So we need to take these off and the tool that I use, this is a uh, plastic pry tool here. Um, and um, I got this, I believe, when I ordered a uh, battery replacement kit for uh, one of the cell phones that I had. But you should be able to find these online and they shouldn't be too expensive. I wouldn't use a metal screwdriver because if you do, you just have, you know, a, a, a higher chance of scratching up the bottom of your laptop, which I don't want to do. There's still a chance with this as well, but there's just less of a chance because it's plastic on plastic. So um, what I'm going to do here is just use uh, the plastic pry tool um, to get underneath the rubber uh, foot here and then just start to uh, lift this off. And there's like a, um, uh, there is a double stick tape here, um, which we need to get up as well. And what I'm going to try to do, this is not cooperating too much. Um, there we go. But I'm going to take it off with the rubber foot. Um, that way I don't take off the whole rubber foot and then take off the tape and have to fit them back together. Um, right now I have the tape to the bottom of the rubber foot. And then I'm just going to gently... Um, start to peel this back and you just want to be careful you don't want to accidentally uh, you know break this rubber foot or anything like that and I'm just using the pry tool here as we go um, until we get this off and then I'm going to flip this uh, face up um, like so looks like the tape on mine oh yeah okay it just kind of came up here a little bit you know it, it still looks okay um, but what I'm going to do is just set this, uh, face up, uh, so the tape doesn't get, um, you know, any dust or hair or anything like that on it. So I'm just setting it face up behind the laptop here. Um, so now I'm going to do the same thing on the other one here. So I'll just flip this around like so. Okay, so, um, I'm going to use the rubber pry tool here to get this started. And the tape on this one is staying um, stuck down to the laptop. So I need to try to uh, get this to start peeling, peeling up with the um, rubber foot here just to make this easier to put back on. There we go. So this one a little bit, you know, came, came off. Uh, of the bottom of the rubber foot, but I just fit it back on here. 
And then I'm going to gently take this rubber foot all the way off like so. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just gonna set this face up. Uh, and now we have uh, one, two, three, four screws here, one screw here, and then two screws right here. Um, and when you do this, you always wanna be aware of which screw you take out of uh, which part of the laptop because sometimes uh, the screws are different lengths so you don't want to um, get them mixed up um, you know and not know where they go back later um, that's not always the case but sometimes that's the case um, so far the two screws that I've taken out uh, are the same size that one is as well and we'll take this one out here. Yeah, and it looks like they say all the screw sizes here and it's all the same. Same on this silver one up here. Let me um, take this one out and then I'll flip this around and we'll take the uh, other two screws out here. Just gently set that down. There's one here. Take that one out. And there's one here, and we'll take that one out. Okay, so now we have all the screws out of the bottom of the laptop, so we need to take uh, the bottom of the laptop, um, you know, off of, of the laptop. And you wanna be careful when you do this. Okay, so I'm going to use the plastic pry tool here and I'm gonna start back here and just gently, um, I'm putting this uh, plastic pry tool between uh, the silver part uh, of the laptop here and then the red bottom. And um, I'm just being really gentle. Um, you wanna just kinda you know, work a little bit at a time and you wanna be careful um, that you don't accidentally um, you know, like break any of these pieces. It's really thin here between um, the top of the different ports and then, uh, you know, the top of the bottom of the laptop. Uh, so just take your time. Um, it may take a little while. Uh, the corners are a little bit harder, but you can see how I got that corner uh, to come out there. And then just working around the whole bottom of the laptop. And the plastic pry tool, uh, it gives you, you know, a, uh, the best possibility of not scratching everything up. It can still happen, but there's just, uh, you know, it's less likely with this than it would be with a, uh, you know, metal uh, flathead screwdriver. So I'm just going to keep using the plastic pry tool here just to gently uh, work down, um, you know, the whole, the whole silver part here. Um, and just going little by little and not forcing anything. You don't want to break anything. There's clips that hold it all in. So um, as you use this plastic pry tool, um, it just helps helps to separate uh, the bottom from the laptop. So I'm going to flip this over here gently like so, um, just so we can keep uh, working around the laptop here like so there we go and we're getting there and just about um, have everything separated there we go getting really close here so that was the last of it. So now I'm just going, the bottom of the laptop will just come off and then I'm just going to uh, set this to the side for now. And I'm going to shut the laptop screen and then just gently set uh, the laptop back down like so. Um, and I'll get a closer look here. Here's the memory uh, right here and we'll talk more about that shortly. Okay, so um, here is the memory right here, and this is something I talk about in one of my other videos. But there's, there's a spot for two memory sockets, but they only have one in this laptop. So um, 
you know, that's something to be aware of when you're looking up how many memory slots your laptop or computer has. Um, you know, it's referencing how many the motherboard is capable of having, um, but that doesn't mean whoever built the laptop or computer uh, actually put a memory socket uh, into that spot. So like in this one, they did not. So this one just has the one memory socket. So to take this memory out, um, there's just a metal clip on each side and if you just, um, you know, get onto each of those and then just gently push them out, it will allow the memory to pop up like so. Um, and then I'm just going to take this memory out and I'm going to set this to the side for now so we can install our new memory. Okay, so here is the new memory right here. Um, this is what it looks like if this is the memory that you decide to go with. Um, the memory has on the bottom part here that goes into the memory socket, there's two different lengths. So you wanna make sure that you match those up properly with the memory socket. And then there's a slot in the middle there that separates the two. So um, we're going to fit the new memory into the memory socket like so and it goes in there at an angle like this. And then we're going to gently push it down until these two metal clips on the side uh, clip the memory into place. So I'm just gonna gently push this down here, just kind of pushing it down evenly on both sides. This one clipped in, this one didn't. So I'm just going to uh, gently um, you know, move the metal clip out um, to allow this to, uh, the memory to go down flat and then I'll let that back. There it goes. And now you can see that that clipped all the way in like so. You do wanna make sure that the memory is installed correctly. Okay, so uh, now to reinstall the bottom of the laptop. And um, what I've done here is I've put the laptop um, on its side and opened it up. That way when we're fitting uh, the bottom of the laptop back on, um, you know, and applying uh, a little bit of pressure to uh, snap the bottom of the laptop back onto the laptop, that we're not putting any pressure on the screen while we're doing so. So um, once you have it all lined up, we can just gently start to uh, push uh, the bottom of the laptop uh, back onto the laptop and just kind of, um, you know, do a little bit, just kind of same way as we, uh, when we took off the bottom of the laptop, just kind of working around, um, you know, the, the side and then the front um, and then the other side. So I'm just going to gently uh, flip this over like so and then just continue to snap the bottom of the laptop uh, back into place like so. Okay, so now I'm just going to continue to gently put uh, the bottom of the laptop back onto the laptop um, and just take your time and gently snap, um, you know, the bottom back onto the laptop. I'm gonna get back here first. And then once this is in, just going to gently piece it back together like so. There it goes. And I noticed uh, right here did not uh, clip in all the way, so uh, I'm just going to do that now. There it goes. Uh, that one was a little harder to get to clip back together. Okay, so now we're going to uh, put all the screws back in. I'll put the um, silver ones back in first here. There's that one there. And you want to get these tight, but you don't want to like over tighten them. Um, you know, just make sure that you get them back in there snug. And I'm really curious to see, I'm going to do this, uh, this one on this side over here first, and then I'll do the two in the middle. Um, I'm really curious to see, you know, because I'm going from four gigabytes uh, of memory to... Uh, 16 gigabytes of memory and I'm really curious to see how much it helps this laptop um, you know I'm hoping it uh, helps out quite a bit we'll see you know but uh, hopefully so all right um, there's the last one of those now I'm gonna take the two black screws here and we'll put those back in the front um, here's this one here and then let's get this one here in like so. 
There we go. Okay, so uh, now we need to um, reinstall um, the rubber feet here. Okay, so um, there's a little rubber piece that sticks out here. Let's see if it can focus in there. There we go. Um, and I'm going to fit that into uh, the hole on the bottom of the laptop first. And then that's the side that I'm going to work from. And I'm just gently uh, pushing the rubber foot back onto the bottom. You don't want to press uh, down too hard because remember uh, the laptop is folded up. So you don't want to hurt the screen um, in any way. And then let me get this part on here like so. And then there we go. Uh, now I'm going to do the same thing uh, with this other one here. And here's the little rubber piece that's bumped out there. So I'm going to put that in first and then just gently working uh, from that side, uh, getting the rubber uh, foot back on here like so. And there we go. A little, little piece of tape there sticking out. Let me see if I can fix that. I think there we go. Yeah, I don't see it anymore. Okay. Um, and then there we go. Okay, so I've put the laptop back up on its side just so I can go down um, and make sure the rubber feet are secured uh, into the channel properly uh, without worrying about hurting the screen. Um, you know, so I have it opened up in this L shape here. So that way, um, when I'm pushing on the bottom of the rubber feet, um, I'm not, uh, you know, pushing against the screen. So, okay, um, let me go ahead and boot up the laptop and let's make sure that the memory installed correctly. All right, guys, so the laptop has loaded up here. I haven't checked yet. I'm doing this with you guys. So I'm going to uh, open up the task manager um, and you do that by control and shift and escape buttons at the same time and then letting off. And then that opens up the task manager here. And then I'm going to go to performance and we can see here, right here, memory 16 gigabytes. Um, and so it all is registering in there correctly. So I'll have to use the laptop for a while before I know how well this memory is working, um, but I'm happy to see that it did install correctly and all 16 gigabytes are showing up. So um, I do plan on making a separate review of this memory, um, but I need some time to use the computer to uh, determine how well it works. So, um, you know, when I do make that uh, video, I will link it. Uh, in the playlist that I link at the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, and like I said, I do have other videos on the uh, MS-DOS command prompt um, on this HP laptop. And I'm going to link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and you have time and you want to learn more about either this HP laptop uh, or the MS-DOS command prompt or some other computer things as well will be in that playlist, uh, please check that playlist out. So thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.